Guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the role a coach plays when it comes to coaching your youth athletes. Um, now, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, to see future sports psychology videos. Oh, you make me want to talk back, talk back to you. When you coach, um, it's much more than you just giving instructions to your kids. Now, being a coach, you actually play a really special role when working with youth athletes. And one of those roles is you become a mentor for those kids. Um, when you become a mentor for those kids, um, you are that person that they can come to, they can talk to, um, you know, if they had a bad day at school, uh, they can come and tell you about it. Um, I could often see that if something wasn't right with one of my youth athletes, I just say to them, come talk to me to the side, you know, how are things going, um, how is school, how are things at home, etc. And, you know, just finding out, you know, what is going on um, and just also letting them know that when they do their weightlifting session, um, because I was a weightlifting coach, um, you create a safe place for them. Um, you create a place where they can feel um, they can come leave everything you know behind for that hour that they're with you in class have fun um, know that you also care for them um, and just feel that they are safe being in your area now continue on creating a safe space for your athletes now one thing you need to realize um, as a coach every coach has their own method or own way of coaching so you don't have to take my way of coaching um, these are just things that I've experienced my whole life coaching and being an athlete and that's something that I want to continue uh, teaching my youth athletes. Now, when it comes to creating a safe place, um, if I have a parent that is uh, disrupting the session, um, potentially uh, shouting at the athlete, um, just being really hard on the kid to a point where the kid cannot actually enjoy the session and they feel like they're under this watchful eye that continuously uh, criticizing them um, I do ask the parents to actually have that space for just me and my athletes and speaking to the parents and explaining to them my reasoning for this um, I've had 99% of parents adhering to this and actually like giving the kids their time um, knowing that when they're under my watchful eye you know this is our time to train because when we train we train but we also have fun um, and that's the kind of environment that I want to create and continue to create for my youth athletes. Now something that I have lived by my whole life and I still want to continue doing this um, and every single time I compete as an athlete um, or even do things in public I want to continue to be a role model for kids. Um, that is something that I just believe is so important when you work with your youth athletes is to be a good role model. Because when you work with youth athletes, almost most of the time, the kids wanting want to be like you. Um, they'll be like, wow, I want to be strong like my coach, fast like my coach, you know? Um, so it's important for you then to understand how important your role as a coach is at the end of the day. Um, so making sure that you live your life the way um, you would want your kids to live it as well. Now, another point um, that is so important that some coaches don't always realize is you can actually end up saving a kid's life when you coach. Um, now, something that I've experienced back in South Africa is kids that come into training um, and kids that come into sport um, there's a very good chance of them if they weren't in sport um, they would be out on the streets um, there's a lot of gangs around there's a lot of bad influences so when you get the kids to do sport um, you help them to stay off the streets so you can change a kid's life forever um, so you need to realize the impact that you can have as a coach on an athlete's life. Um, you become almost like a parent figure with that. Um, you can help the kids grow. Um, you can help the kids, you know, if they have problems where they feel um, pressure to be in certain situations to stop sport. Um, I mean, even for myself being a female, uh, when I was younger, um, people used to say, 
you shouldn't do weightlifting, you know, weightlifting is a man's sport, etc. But continuing my sport and doing it now for 20 years, I mean, it's opened up so many doors and opportunities for me that I wouldn't have had if I didn't do the sport. So you can change a kid's life. You can help them um, get scholarships for schools. Um, you can help them get really good jobs by sticking in sport because sport can change a person's life. Now, I have worked with all levels of athletes. Um, I've literally, literally worked with kids as young as four years old um, up to elite level being in their 20s, 30s, even 40s. Um, so a huge range of people and the one thing that I've experienced um, as a coach and great feedback that I've had is when you do coaching, um, you can improve not just the kids sport. Um, and sometimes you will get athletes, you know, some of them will reach high level in sport. Some of them might not reach the elite level, but you can still make such a big difference in an athlete's life. And that is also one of the big reasons why I coach. Um, I coach because when I see my athlete has finished their session and they've got a huge smile on their face, um, or for example, they've increased in weight um, on the barbell by one kilogram, and the excitement they have because they've hit a new personal record or a personal best. Um, you know, all of a sudden they can do a movement better. All of a sudden they're better with their stretching or their ball skills. You know, these are the kind of rewards that I feel as a coach is priceless. Um, and I've worked with athletes, you know, um, with disabilities and, you know, like I said, athletes with elite level. And I find the same amount of joy with each and every athlete. Um, so as a coach, you mustn't take that for granted. Um, another thing that's also important is, and one of the feedback that I've gotten is, how sport can also help a kid in school. Um, it can help with concentration levels. It can help with a discipline. Um, it can also help. It's a way of the kid to also release a lot of their energy. So when it comes to their, you know, their schoolwork time, they can actually sit down and focus for that, you know, amount of hours that they need to focus. Um, so for youth athletes, um, sport is not just sport. Um, sport is something that carries over to life and to schoolwork. And as coaches, you know, working with youth athletes, we play such an important role. Um, so I believe you know, we need to take that role seriously. So coaches out there, please remember the important role you play in your youth athletes lives. Um, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future sports psychology videos.